The last part of this field is a kind of a muddy mess. We were going all the way up north to check those fields to plant beans. But we didn't make it that far because we ran into some cornfields that we can plant. So we're going to do that. And we're kind of excited about that because we would rather plant corn than beans at the moment. So we just ran into town for lunch. Now we're going to go back home, drop two people off, and two of us are going to the field. Looks like on this end row, when they came and sprayed, the sprayer wasn't quite charged up on this first pass. So our uh, cover crop is pretty green here. So we've got annual ryegrass. It's actually going to seed. That'll be an interesting little test to see how the corn comes up through it. We will uh, get it killed off here in a few days when they come do their post-planting application that should take care of us for the rest of the season. But we'll keep an eye on this, see how it does compared to the dead stuff. Now we got the last part of this field is a kind of a muddy mess. Just had a row run out of seed, so we're moving some around. We keep having these mainframe tires plug up with mud and having to skip a few spots. It's just uh, some of the stuff we gotta fight this spring. So you know, we're gonna have to skip a few spots and we're gonna keep planting. We probably won't be back to fill these in. That's uh, just the way it's gonna be. So, we shall carry on. Hi, buddy. Hey. Come on in. Okay, so. In a couple of these fields, we're going to have to work around some wet spots because they're not going to dry out in the couple days we're here. And the way things are going this year, we don't know that we're going to be back. You can see a little shiny standing water over there, some more over there. And if you look at our planted map, there's a couple of holes there that we've had to skip. I'm going to have to stop before we get to the end here because I'm not going to make it. So I'm trying to keep my normal planting path. On the chance we do come back, we can fill it in. But uh, we may not get there. But uh, hey, it's June 1st and a lot of people are having trouble planting corn. The corn market's going up. We're gonna get as much in the ground as we can while we can. I think maybe we got like four days of planting we can do here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how many acres we can cover before it gets wet again. Back up close to the water as I can and get the next pass. We just got home, planning on planting zero acres of corn today and got about 130. So that is a win. And in the field, we had to skip around the water. That's a 44 acre field and we planted 42 acres. So that's not too bad.
We'll take it. We're back in this no-till corn on corn field. It's June 2nd. If you remember from a previous video, I started this field the night before a rain on, I believe, May 21st. So I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, pass next to us, there's corn growing. And I'm gonna be turning around on growing corn on the Andro. That's a couple of weeks old. So that's how this year is going. If all goes well, we're actually gonna be 100% planted on corn by tomorrow afternoon. And that is pretty great. It's even going to be before the insurance date of June 5th where your coverage drops off a percent a day for 20 days. So we're going to make it with our full coverage plan and that is going to be a really good thing this year. A little muddy spot we're going through. Hope we don't struggle in this field like we did in the one we just came from. I think it's going to be a lot better though. So, run a few acres here tonight, go home, get some sleep, get after it again tomorrow. So, if you can see in front of me, I'm about to change from standing corn stalks to uh, worked piece of ground. This was intended to be a seven acre test plot that was going to be planted and harvested by someone else just decided today on the phone with them since we're going to be a hundred percent done with corn they're going to go ahead and abandon this plot they got another one on us anyway so that's all right and we're just going to plant it normally like we would so they like to have it worked and we normally put on the bulk of our nitrogen like three four weeks after the corn is up and growing for these plots they don't want me out here doing that so all the nitrogen is on a head here so it's still going to be a test plot of sorts where we'll be able to test uh i guess a full rate of liquid nitrogen on a head versus me side dressing and hydrous ammonia in the rest of the field so one test plot abandoned and another one takes its place and we should be 100% planted on corn late this afternoon so we're gonna be happy about all that we're about to finish dent corn and go to waxy corn so we got to be cleaned out really good so we're shifting seed around from row to row as they run out we got one more pass to do we might have to clean out the planter anyway to go to waxy so try to finish this field without opening up another bag that we can return. There's the super high-tech row-to-row seed transfer system. Hopefully we shuffled seed for the last time. All those bars at the bottom stay planting green for another 200 feet. Yeah, smart farmer's been acting up. That's okay. Everybody stay green. Another 50 feet will be good. We're gonna make it. Dent corn planting is over. Shutting down. Off to another baseball game. This is the last cornfield, finally, on June 3rd. Gonna go to the ball game, down to one bar of fuel on the tractor. Um, it might make it, we're gonna bring some fuel back with us. Finish up, uh, what's left? 15, 20 acres in this field. Go back to the shop. Get a full load of fuel and switch over to start planting beans. See if we can get this planting season wrapped up. 
before too long. Rain in the forecast, of course. Dad's got my truck, so I get to drive Ruby to the baseball game tonight instead of the big Dodge. Let's go. Just got home from putting the planter in the shed. Corn planting 2019 is finally done on June 3rd, about 10 o'clock. Yay! Yay! And still wearing our baseball uniform.